What's up everyone, it's Deltron Live, and today we're going to continue with our data module tutorial. So we're currently on page 3 of 4. This should be a quicker video. Uh, so basically in today's video we're going to go over how to add and remove abilities from a unit in the using the data editor. Okay, so let's get started. So first we're going to modify a unit spill kit. So next we're going to modify the abilities that our unit is able to cast. So there's two steps to setting up units with abilities. First, you have to add the ability to the unit, and then you have to add a button to the command card that links to the ability. So let's go ahead and open up our map that we stopped with last time, and open up the data module, and let's get started. So we're not gonna be able to add an ability command to our hero's command card if first they don't possess the corresponding abilities. So before we modify the command card, we need to look at the abilities list. So within the unit's uh, catalog, uh, it should be open here. If not, just remember, open up, click the plus sign, edit a game data, and then you can open up the unit's catalog. Okay, so we wanna select the people's hero. So just search people and then select the uh, people's hero. And then in the fields, uh, you wanna locate the abilities, which is here, and then just double click the values. So what that's gonna do is gonna open up another window, which shows a list of all the abilities that uh, the people's hero or Jim Rayner can do. So before we add abilities, we, let's go ahead and remove the ones that we don't want. So basically to remove it, an ability, you select it and then you're gonna press this red uh, minus sign. So we want to keep the stop, attack, and move. Those usually you don't want to remove from a unit. Those are just the basic uh, abilities that they need. So let's go ahead and remove the Chrono Rift, Plasma Gun, Breaching Charge, and Toss Grenade. Okay. So now we can add abilities. Uh, so now we're just left with the three basic abilities. Uh, so let's go ahead and add the special abilities that we want Jim Raynor to have. Okay, so in order to add an ability, you're just gonna press this green plus sign. And then in the search field, let's search for the abilities that we want. So first we're gonna want the Rainer Commando Railgun Snipe ability. So let's just search Rainer. And here he is, Railgun Snipe. Press OK. And that'll add it. Uh, notice how it's green now since we up updated it. So let's go ahead and open that up again. Let's add another ability. This one's gonna be the Tychus Toss Grenade. Again, press OK. It'll automatically close, just open it up again. The green plus sign. And then finally, we're gonna add um, Swan's Place Turret ability. So just search Swan, and then press OK. Okay. So now we can go on and change the uh, command card. So, so yeah, since we have the abilities ready to go, we can now put them in the unit's command card. Okay, so just here uh, in the fields, look for the command card. And again, just double click the value and it'll open up the current command card for um, Jim Rayner, the people's hero. So again, uh, similar to the abilities, we want to remove the ones we don't want first. So to do that, uh, just uh, you'll go, you're going to select the ability and then press the remove button and then continue doing that for all of the abilities. Okay, just a quick note on this last ability, let's take a closer look. So if we have this selected, you'll notice that the fields below this section change to show the settings for that particular button. Uh, you can see that, that this button is called Chrono Rift Device. Uh, the command type is ability command 
and the ability and ability command sections are blank because we deleted the ability that this button references from the unit just before this. Okay, so if you went in, uh, opened the map just with this and tried to use the Corona Rift device, it's not going to do anything because we deleted that ability, that unit's ability. Okay, so just go ahead and continue, delete that last one. So now we need to add the new abilities to this command card. So select the location that you want the first ability to be, and then just press the green plus sign, which is the add button. Okay, and now we want it to be the command card is the penetrator round Rainer. Okay, press OK. So now, uh, before moving on to the next one, we need to change the command type. We need to select the ability command. Uh, this lets us associate this button with one of the abilities that the unit possesses. So now we can actually uh, select an ability. Okay, for the ability selection, we want to select uh, Rainer. Commando Railgun Snipe and the ability command uh, just leave it as is penetrate around uh, Rainer. Okay. So now uh, just repeat these steps to add command buttons for the Tychus and the Swan abilities that we also added to our Rainer unit. So just select the next, add. So the first one's going to be Tychus. Toss Shredder Grenade, Command Type, Ability Command, that lets us add it the ability, and the ability is going to be Tychus, Toss Grenade. Okay, and then we add the, again, add the, press the green plus sign, and this is going to be Place Flaming Betty, Command Type, Ability Command, and Ability is um, swan, place turret. Okay, that should be it. Uh, just press OK. And you can double check it, just press uh, the command card again, and you can see the, uh, the changes that we made there. So let's go ahead and save. And then let's test it out. So now, the People's Hero uh, should have a new set of abilities, and so we're just going to open it up real fast and, and test it out. What's okay, up? so now that you can see, he has the Penetrator Round, Toss Shredder Grenade, and Place Flaming Betty. Time to man up. Okay. So let's go. Sounds like a plan. Let's fight some enemies. Raiders roll. Uh, we can toss a grenade we can throw a flaming Betty here and we can penetrate around and that's pretty much it so this is just a basic overview of how to change add remove uh, units abilities and then update them in the command card in game so again thanks everyone for watching hopefully it's been helpful and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, take it easy everyone. Bye now.